Welcome to Gradient Flow Snapshot number 20. Online maps are a critical tool worldwide for predicting estimated times of arrival, or ETAs. DeepMind and the Google Maps team are now collaborating to improve ETA accuracy by up to 50% in places like Berlin, San Jose, Sydney, and Tokyo. The team divided road networks into super segments consisting of multiple adjacent road segments with significant traffic volume. They used a machine learning architecture called Graph Neural Networks. Their model treats the local road network as a graph, where each root segment corresponds to a node and edges exist between consecutive segments on the same road or connected through an intersection. Currently, the team is exploring the metagradient technique and others to further improve ETA accuracy. See Gradient Flow newsletter number 17 for more. Some recent major computer failures and breaches indicate the severity, cost, and global nature of the legacy systems issue. One way to keep core IT systems from turning into legacy systems is DevOps, a set of practices that combines software development and IT operations. Another approach is starting from scratch. DARPA is the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. Since 2015, it has funded research aimed at making software that will be viable for more than 100 years. The goal is to be able to update applications without the need for extensive human intervention, perhaps with drones, mobile robots, and more. See Gradient Flow newsletter number 17 for more. Modern neural language models like BERT and XLNet can be very expensive to train. It cost over $12 million to train OpenAI's GPT-3. So instead of training from scratch, most companies focus on fine-tuning a model for their specific applications. A team at Determined AI has reduced the time it takes to fine-tune BERT from 7 hours to 30 minutes. To learn more, visit gradientflow.com newsletter and subscribe. Thank you. Mm -hmm.